Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson, Pray for us. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and His strength. Constantly seek His face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration acknowledging Jesus, our Lord, as the true image and perfect face of God, the face of His love and compassion for all of us. And so to prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshipping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should you wrath blaze up against your own people? whom you brought out of the land of Egypt with such great power and with so strong a hand. Why should the Egyptian say, with evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised, I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf of Horeb and adored in molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive rest. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Please stand. Pag-ibig sa sanlibutan ng Diyos ay gayon na lamang Kanyang anak ibinigay upang mabuhay kailanman ang mananwanig na tunay The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf. And I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. 
I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in His light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard His voice, nor seen His form, and you do not have His word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one whom He has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We see in our readings today teachings about the image of God. Ang atin pong mga pagbasa ngayon ay nagtuturo sa atin tungkol sa larawan ng Diyos. Sino nga ba ang Diyos? Ano ba ang itsura niya? Paano natin siya makikilala? Who is this God? What is His image? What is His form? How do we come to know this God? What kind of God is He? In our first reading from the book of Exodus, we hear about the people of Israel trying to make an image of God. And they made a molten calf. And they said, this is our God. Let us offer sacrifices to this God. Gumawa sila ng isang larawan, isang inanyuan na baka. At sabi nila, ito ang itsura ng Diyos. Ito ang Diyos natin na sasambahin. Gintong larawan, mag-alay tayo ng sakripisyo. Pero, sinikap silang itama ni Moises. Nakita natin sa unang pagbasa na ang Panginoong Diyos ay hindi isang larawan lamang, kundi isang Diyos na nakakausap natin. Our God is not just a molten calf. Our God is not just an image. He is a person that we must talk to. Ang Panginoong Diyos natin ay nakakausap natin. Isang buhay na Diyos at hindi isang larawan lamang. That is why in our first reading today, there is an important teaching that our God is not an image, our God is a living God. And in our gospel reading today, we hear about Jesus 
saying that He is the perfect image of God. If in the Old Testament, they were able to talk to God, now in the Gospel, we were able to see God in the person of Jesus. That is why in our Gospel today, Jesus tells us that the testimony of the Father, the words of the Father, the works of the Father that Jesus is saying and doing testify that He is from the Father, that He is in fact the image of the Father. Pinapakita po sa atin sa Ebanghelyo ngayon na kung sa unang uh, pagbasa sa lumang tipan ay sinisikap nilang hanapin ang larawan ng Diyos. Ngayon sa ating Ebanghelyo, pinakikita sa atin si Jesus ang tunay na larawan ng Ama. At ganun pa rin ang pinakikita ni Jesus sa atin, ang larawan ng Ama na nagsasalita, ang larawan ng Ama na kumikilos. Ganyan ang ating Panginoong Diyos. Hindi siya isang kahoy lamang na larawan, hindi siya nananatili sa altar lamang na dapat nating bisitahin, kundi ang Diyos ay kapiling natin, nakakausap natin, kumikilos, may ginagawa para sa atin. The image of God is Jesus. And Jesus teaches us today that we can speak to God. We can talk to Him. In fact, He is doing something for us. That is our living God. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Eucharistic celebration, this Mass, let us be reminded that God is not just a wooden image that we come to the altar not just to offer sacrifice to an image of a God, but we come here in this Mass to talk to God. And God is talking to you also. God is doing something for you. Ito ang ating pananampalataya na ang Diyos natin ay hindi isang larawan ang Diyos natin ay buhay na Diyos. Nakakausap natin. At ngayon, kinakausap ko tayo sa misang ito. Makinig tayo. Kausapin natin siya at manalig tayong siya ay buhay at mayroong ginagawa, kumikilos para sa ating lahat. As we continue celebrating this Mass, let us come to our God through His perfect image, the image of Jesus. Let us listen to His words. Let us talk to God. Let us talk to Jesus and have faith that Jesus is doing something for us. Amen. Please stand. Too often we stray from the Lord's ways. Let us now ask Him for the strength to live lives of faith. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Christians everywhere may be more fervent in prayer during this Lenten season, let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that unbelievers may listen to God's word and be brought to salvation, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That present uncertainties in the church may be resolved by an increase of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the poor, the sick, and the handicapped may see God's presence in their lives by the support of their families and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may reach their eternal home with the help of our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, enlighten us through the Holy Spirit that we may openly profess our faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil and always grant us your protection through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults raise up our minds and bestow both virtue and its rewards through christ our lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominions adore and powers tremble before you Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of, of hosts, hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the, in the name, name of the Lord, Hosanna in, in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only, only say the, the word, word, and my, and my soul, soul shall be shall healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May this sacrament we have received purify us, we pray, O Lord, and grant your servants freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilty conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We give our hearts.